morning. It's really early in the morning here. 6.04. I can't sleep, so I might as well be up baking here. I've got my coffee, I've got my house coat, and I am making this great dessert today for my mom, because she's coming over from Nanaimo, and so I decided what better thing to do than to create a dessert just for your mom. It's Mother's Day tomorrow, so can I show you my parents? This is a picture of my parents. My dad is sadly not with us anymore, but my mom is, and we are going to celebrate. And she is the best woman in the world. She's lovely, and she's the best mom in the world. I come from a family of nine, <laughs> nine kids. My dad always said he had a perfect baseball team. And she's coming over. Going to pick her up at the ferry in about uh, four hours. So I have to make this dessert, clean the house, and then get out and go pick her up. And maybe we'll shop and then we'll come back and have dinner and have this amazing dessert that takes me back to my childhood. Because our favorite sandwich when I was a little girl was peanut butter and banana. So now I've added cream cheese to this amazing combination. So let's get started, shall we? We're going to do this on puff pastry. Puff pastry is an amazing, amazing uh, pastry because it's so easy to work with. So here I've got my puff pastry sheet all ready to go on my board, a little bit of a floured board. And then we're going to put on a filling. Now, the filling is already made, but here's how you do it. Half a cup of cream cheese, um, half a cup of peanut butter, one fresh banana, so you need a definitely need one fresh banana for the whole taste. It's great. One cup of ice and sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. Now if you want to bump it up a bit, add your favorite liqueur. Mm. Mm. But today, I'm just going to go straight with vanilla. But that does taste wonderful. Here we go. Spoon with your portion scoop. A nice round scoop on the back half of your pastry. Now this recipe makes up about 10 to 12. I've already got some in the oven going, but I'll show you the, the procedure because it's so easy. This is exactly like making ravioli. Exactly. My dollop is on my board. Now with my egg, I'm going to egg wash in between because I want it to seal. So here we go. Egg wash in between. This is exactly like you, how you make ravioli, you know. If you had spinach or mushrooms or beef or fish, doesn't matter. Lobster, lobster ravioli, oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go, egg wash is done. Now I'm going to manipulate the dough so that I have these beautiful um, little mounds inside. So fold the puff pastry over gently, start at one end and just help it along. You want it to, to seal in the middle, so help your puff pastry along and with the sides of your fingers, seal the edges. So you can take this, this procedure and do anything, like a main course, an appetizer. There's an idea. Perfect appetizer. I can see it with spinach, mushroom, a little bit of fabulous whipped cream cheese, my new best friend. Here we go. So these are all sealed. Now, with your favorite co cookie cutter, just cut out your rounds. There you go. How easy is that? Onto the cookie sheet. Here's my cookie sheet, ready to go. I've preheated my oven to 425. These will bake for about 20 minutes. So all in all, this dessert takes you approximately 35 minutes to make and bake. I love make and bake recipes, don't you? They're great. So there we go. No egg wash, nothing. Just put them in the oven like this. Here we go. And, voila, oh, hot, 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 out of the oven comes my other puff pastries and they're ready to go, they're ready to plate, and they, that's really, it's a hot oven, very hot oven. So what I have here though, is I've already got one plated for you, and they come with a lovely, chocolate drizzle on top, which I'll show you how to make that too. So here's my plate, all ready to go. One uh, cream puff on top, uh, not cream puff, 
peanut butter cream puff on top. And you just want to take your chocolate drizzle, and this is made with, again, cream cheese, two tablespoons of the whipped cream cheese. It melts really easily, and it's lovely with the peanut butter. You've got two tablespoons of peanut butter, and um, you want to thin it with whipping cream until it's the consistency that it, it drizzles easily. So I'm just going to drizzle this over my cream puff. Don't worry about the board. This is the beauty of having a board because you can drizzle and then pick it up and nobody knows you've made a mess on your board so it's wonderful. So here's my dessert for my mom because she's the best in the world and I call this peanut butter cream puffs just for mom. So here's to great memories and here's to your mom and my mom and all the great moms in the world. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Where's my coffee? Have a good day.